baby girl. And look at Bud. Bud's over here waiting for his toughy toys. We're gonna see if those toys will survive. We they won't a, survive. We have hoops and we have a chainsaw. How much, how much did you spend on those? $20, $40. $40 on dog toys that will be done in five minutes. Okay, so we're not talking about the dogs today. We're talking about tires. So I have had every type of tire. I have had uh, cheater slicks. I have had slicks. I have had uh, low profile wide tires. I have had big low pro profile wide tires. I have had uh, super swampers, monster mutters. Uh, you name it. And I generally uh, Google and find pictures of, uh, of, so like this, I wanted a tall, skinny tire. So I Google tall, skinny 4x4 tires. And uh, these just happened to come up. And those are bias plies. Those are 36 inch tall by 9 inches wide bias ply tires. And that's what I want. I wanted to go kind of with the, with the stock sort of appearance but just a little bit uh, beefier and with this three and a half inch lift I probably could have fit uh, 37 inch tires and if the fenders weren't so, so sharp if they're like a Ford fender uh, 38s would be easy and that's a three and a half inch lift for God's sakes that is a lot of tire for a little bit of but this is a big truck there's a lot of truck there so anyway uh, I have never had any problems with bias ply tires. Uh, the monster mutters, the, they may be a little noisy, but uh, you know, back in the old days when I used to investigate tires and stuff, I think, uh, do I really want the uh, cheater slick? Is it gonna handle poorly? Because you go onto Google and everybody's kind of talking about how, oh, they're all over the place and they handle crappy and you can't fit that big of a tire onto just a three inch lift, but I have always gone bigger, wider, yada, yada, yada. Because there's a lot of practical people out there that uh, they want the car to handle uh, really well. They want to make sure that it handles uh, tip top. And I will sacrifice a little bit to get the look that I want. So in this car here, my wife's Mustang, it has a reproduction Coker front tire that would come on like a Shelby Mustang. And the rear, let's step over here, honey, because you can't really see that tire. Mm -hmm. That was the <clears throat> Let's get the light. So this is a uh, Repop. This is a, a vintage M&H Racemaster Slick. And this is a 14-inch tire. And a lot of times, you have to get the uh, reproduction Coker tire to like fit on this 14. I think they make like one tire, one cheater slick. Let me get from the back. Oh, that damn Lopez in the way. That is, uh, is the size that you want. And the only thing I can bitch about uh, with these tires is that the, the sidewalls have kind of a texture to them. They don't have like a smooth uh, surface like a normal you tire. You can actually see the texture on there. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, and Coker made these uh, bigger tires over on the truck over here. Do you think people are going to ask you if this is tubbed? But that's uh, the low, the low kind of tucked in their tire. And I with the uh, the cheater slicks that I had before, they just have a couple grooves in them. Uh, I have, have been asked if the car was tubbed. You just need to squeeze that tire in there. And it it, so run. is it tubbed? No, it's not tubbed. Yeah. It's stock. So let's uh, take a look at this tire that has the same kind of texture to it. So that front tire, if I didn't say it, that's a radial, the rear is a slick. Uh, we drive that thing around, we drive it on the highway, uh, we do uh, whatever, right honey? Well, we really haven't driven it that much, but, <laughs> but, we, but we have because it's been under construction forever. <laughs> But uh, we have gone, you know, we've gone 45, 50, and uh, I had the, when I had the cheater slicks. I think you've driven a little faster than 50. Well, yeah, but that was just a quick situation. Yeah. Uh, but we drove that car from uh, snow, uh, I don't want to give the <laughs> location away, but we drove 60 miles down the highway in the pouring rain with the cheater slicks in the back and the little tiny uh, pie cutters in the front that we got rid of pie because we're, we're going for the kind of resto, Frank's still waiting stock, for his toys. Uh, look. 
Yeah, Frank wants his toy. He's crying about it. He's crying. But you can see the, the texture on the front of uh, this tire. But this was the only, the Coker tire is the only, so oh, it's a yeah. 9 by uh, 16. And you can't find hardly any tires that have a 16 inch diameter for a wheel. I guess. But I like this the tire. Is really the only spot you can see the texture on there. Yeah. But uh, what do you think about the look of the of the truck, honey? <laughs> I think it looks pretty well. So we did a maiden voyage to the dump today, and the guy next to us said what? He said, uh, "That's a." I don't remember what he said. <laughs> he said, "Nice whip, man." And he was an older guy. <laughs> he was probably my age, fifty years old. So I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> and then you got a thumbs up. So I mean, it was like two just in a little. But I, you know, whatever. So anyway, don't be afraid to go after the tire that you want. Just investigate. Google. That's what the uh, webs are for. Thanks for watching. Bud, I'll give you a toy in a second. For God's sake.